Let me show you something new I've developed. Um, I'm a big, big fan of Blade Runner. Anybody that knows me knows this. I've always wanted to have a neon sign of the white dragon that you see throughout the movie. So I set about making vector files to make these laser cut dragons that will be the basis for making a, a light up sign. I have two sizes. I've got a 16 inch version. That's this guy here. And then I've got a jumbo, which is about 24 inches. I'm not sure what I, I might be offering as a kit. I think I'll, I'll be doing a tutorial on the really large version. This takes forever to cut out on a laser cutter. So this, this might be the 16 inch version might be the one that I mostly offer. The tongues are cut separately just for safe shipping so they don't break off. So tongues are separate. And then on this I made this last minute. This is the little wing set. So you might get a wing set that's a separately cut piece. So you'll just super glue that on and then you'll super glue the tongues on. Let me show you the electronics. I won't be offering this with the kit. This EL wire is commonly available on Amazon. I bought a set of five, I think there were five colors. White, blue, red, green, I think there was yellow. These operate with AA batteries and they're remarkably bright. So there is the blue and red, here's the white. So these are these are pretty bright. I mean, like in, in broad daylight, you might they might not be very bright, but like in a dim situation, like in this shop right now, these are extraordinary. Right now, I just have one strand of red, so I've got another one on order. But to get that flicking tongue animation, his tongue flicks back and forth red. You can go ahead and set these guys out of sync. See if I can get the red one to blink out of sync. There you go like this. So you can get them to blink out of sync to get that red animated tongue. Okay, to start off this tutorial, I'm going to super glue this little squiggle. That represents the wings. And I'm going to super glue the tongue. Okay, let me talk about color and how we're going to map this out. The main color for this is blue. And the blue, I'm going to start here at the edge of the wing and wrap it. I'm going to come all the way around. I'm going to handle the head and come and do the horns. And then I'm going to go to the inside body, all the way across, across to this. And I think it finishes here, although I will bring the wire back down to bottom center. To adhere the EL wire, I've done a few little experiments over the last few days and I'm finding that barge cement is the best adhesive for this. It's the less messy of all these options. And I'm not going to do the entire thing. I'm probably I'm going to start here at the wings. This barge is a little old so it's kind of thick and very viscous right now, but I'll clean this up. So I'm going to come across the wings, I'm going to come across this, I'm going to do the head, and I'll probably stop at maybe this arch about here, I'll stop here. Okay, I'm starting with the end of my EL wire, and I'm just going to start pushing this down into place. I'm not being too terribly anal about where this sits. I'm just sort of putting it in the middle as close as I can. I'm going to come down the jaw. Okay, I'm going to leave myself enough room here to double back on myself. that horn. Double back across this. Okay, that was about perfect. Uh, I started at the edge of the wingtip and I stopped here with the barge. I think it was perfect. 
if I continued any more, it might might be a problem because over here, the barge is already starting to really get set. Here's how I'm going to handle the white color. I'm starting this time with the battery clip end of the wire. White starts here. I'm going to use super glue. My favorite is uh, extra thick Maxi Cure with spray accelerant. And I'm going to very tightly wrap this wire onto these sharp teeth as close as I can get it. Then I'm going to come up behind the blue. I'll be behind the jaw behind here. Then I'm going to come up top, wrap the nostril, bring it down here, wrap the eye, bring it underneath the horns, and then start wrapping the spines. Okay, uh, that super glue and spray kicker came in really handy. I've got these teeth wrapped. I've got the wire coming behind the jaw. It comes up. It does a little twist on the snout. I'm not exactly on these shapes. I'm just sort of using these shapes as a suggestion. And I'm not worried about the continuous strand. i show you a little trick on light blocking. Then I have it doing a half turn on the eye. I have it coming behind the head. And now I've got it up here. A little tack of super glue to hold it in place there. And then I'll get back to my barge cement and wrap that wire all the way across the spines. Come over here. It finishes here, and I'll trim it there. Here's the arrangement of the tongue. These are two separate EL wires. And now what's left to do is organize these wires with some duct tape. Get all these battery packs together. Duct tape these guys. Maybe I'll label these. Their individual colors. And then we'll do some light sealing. There are four areas that need light block, and that's after the teeth and before the snout, after the snout, before the eye, after the eye, and before the first spike. And then one more light block between the tail here to here will be light blocked. We can do this light blocking either with electrical tape or fabric paint. I like fabric paint. This is Tulip Color Shot. This is black. What I'm doing is spraying a little bit on some styrene taking a cheap brush and blocking out where we don't want this light. So I don't want it after this eye area and I don't want it all the way up to the horn. So I'm going to block this like this. Okay. I don't want it from the eye to the end of the snout. I also want to light block this light that's going behind the tail. The eye of this dragon appears to be yellow. It's got a little bit of a warm hue to it. So I'm using some translucent paint. This is a Tamiya translucent spray paint. Spray it on a piece of plastic. And I'm going to apply a little bit of color to this eye. And that is it for this dragon. Uh, you can display this as is. You can hang this from a nail from this spine or that spine. This can be hidden away. I noticed that in the movie that there's a backing to this with painted on scale. So I cut a piece of plastic to, to the contours of this dragon. You can just cut a piece of cardboard and paint it white. A piece of white foam cut to shape. This is an optional thing. I'm going to hot glue this behind this, but before I do that, I'm going to paint scales on this backing. Here's one last little footnote on this project. I've got this cable hot glued back here, the control box wired, I mean hot glued back there. And I've got a mounting hole right here, and that balances really well on a nail or a screw. So because I have all these colors on separate controllers, I could make the blinks go randomly like this. There's another feature on these that does a quick blink. There's a seizure for you right there. 
There's a lot of different options here. But to be movie accurate, the white and blue are on and the tongues are back and forth like this. And you are done. Thanks for watching this video. I hope I was able to teach you some skills and I hope I encouraged you to make your own white dragon at home. If you have any questions about this kit, please make sure that you check on the links in my video description for the Facebook, Instagram, and website. Thanks for watching.